Hi hey everybody, guess what it's time for? Fabulous Friday freezer meal. And we've got a good one for you today. Deb's still off on her adventure, but she's coming home this weekend, so I'll be glad. She's been gone a couple of weeks. So, this Friday freezer meal is going to be one that is great for this time of year. You know, everybody's been talking about making soups. You know, this is soup season. This is the time of year you want some good old comforting soups. So this one is a white chicken chili. And it's a little bit of a different recipe than I normally use for my white chicken chili, but I know it's going to be delicious. The ingredients are spot on. So I'm going to be using my handy dandy bag holder that Deb bought me because she felt sorry for me because I didn't have one. She did. So we're just going to start poking the ingredients in and y'all follow along. I'm going to tilt my camera down just a wee bit. Okay, so every white chicken chili has to have this ingredient, chicken. And I've got two cups. I have boiled it and I have pulled it apart. I did not chop it, I just pulled it apart because I like pretty big chunks in my white chicken chili. So there you see, it's two cups, two happy cups. All right. Now I'm just going to start adding all the other ingredients. I have one cup of diced onions. I'm going to add that. Just sprinkle that right on top there. And these were some onions I had already diced up, and they were in the freezer already. So I'm using those up. Now, it calls for one can of diced chilies. I did not have a can of diced chilies, but I did have a can of Rotel tomatoes with diced with green chili. So I'm going to put that in. I like a little bit of tomato in my white chicken chili anyway. And this recipe didn't call for it. So the next thing I'm going to add is two teaspoons of minced garlic. And I've already measured them out here. I'm going to pour those in. I love it already. Okay, minced garlic. Now we've got one and a half teaspoon of ground cumin and one and a half teaspoon of oregano. And I've already mixed them up in this little container, in this little bowl. And I'm just going to sprinkle those two ingredients in as well. All right. We're going to do a dash of cloves. I thought that was an interesting thing to add. We're going to do a dash of ground cloves. I'll probably add a little bit more of a dash. And then we're going to add a dash of cayenne pepper. And y'all know I love me some cayenne pepper. So I will probably do a little more than a dash. I'm probably going to do a quarter of a teaspoon. There we go. All right. Now, here comes the biggie. But I'm, you know what? I'm going to save that chicken broth till last because I have a feeling if I don't, it's going to be messy. I've got two cups of great northern beans. I have drained them and I have rinsed them. So they're going in. These also are happy cups. It's two cans. So it equals a little over two cups. But there they go. All right. Now, the question of the hour is, are these four cups of chicken froth going to fit in this bag? We shall see. Here we go. Just pouring them in. I believe they will. It will fit. There we go. And that, my friends, is all the ingredients. Okay. So we have a nice bag of white chicken chili. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carefully seal my bag trying to get out as much of the air as I can. And then I'm just going to mix it. Mix my ingredients together. Doesn't have to be mixed perfectly. I do want those spices to get kind of mixed around though. That way it can be flavoring everything else with the yummy, yummy spices. 
Okay, I've got it kind of mixed around. I'm going to try to get a little more air out of there. Just like that. Y'all, this was an easy one. The hardest part is getting all your ingredients together. And that wasn't a ton of ingredients. It's only like 11 or something. Okay, so here is my white chicken chili. Now, yeah, it's still got some air. I will work on that, y'all. So the next thing we're going to do, the instructions say to put one cup of shredded cheddar jack cheese in the sandwich bag, which I have done. And put that bag with your soup and bag with cheese together in a gallon bag. So that's what I'm going to do. When I get a little more of this air out, y'all, that bugs me. Y'all know what I mean? I can't stand it. And then I'm going to squirt it all over me in a second. Because, you know, I'm messy. Okay, that's a little better. That's a little better. Okay. So here's my cheese. Okay, now I'm going to put both of those ingredients into another bag. And you know what Deb always says, don't get the cheaper brands of these freezer bags. Try to get the Ziploc ones because they're a little bit more sturdy. And you would not want this white chicken chili going all over your kitchen. I guarantee it. All right, so I've got the cheese in there and I've got my soup in there and then the last thing I'm going to do is put my instructions in there but first I'm going to read them to you. Oh, I kind of got them wet. Okay so when you take it out of the freezer you're going to thaw it in your refrigerator and then you're going to cook over medium low heat for 30 minutes or you can cook it in your crock pot on low for several hours. Stir in your cheese 15 minutes before serving. Yum! Suggested sides are to garnish with sour cream, salsa, serve with tortilla chips, cilantro, green onions. Sounds delicious. Okay, so I'm going to take my recipe here. And I'm going to fold it just like Deb does. Like that. I'm going to put it... I've got something wet on my counters. What's happened? I'm going to put it in this smaller freezer bag. Just that way I will know what's in my bag when I pull it out of the freezer. Voila. It goes down in there. Cheese slides down in there. And now we have a fabulous... Friday freezer meal. So y'all try this. It's great to go to your freezer and when you haven't really planned what you're going to cook for dinner, it's great to just go and pull something out that morning before you leave for the office or for work or school or whatever you're doing for the day and just pull something out and, and you know you've got it when you get home. It'll be easy to fix. This is a 30 minute something. The chicken's already cooked. So, it's a good one, y'all. Give it a try. See you later. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.